Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is a morning market prep video for June 11th, 2021. So yesterday we had that inflationary number come in hotter than expected. Um, as a matter of fact, um, the largest gain in nearly 30 years and the market just kind of shrugged and said, we don't care. Um, we just want to keep partying like it's 1999. So although we had a big pop yesterday and a rally, we ended up putting in some uncertain candle patterns in the market. But once again, this morning we are pumping, 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 pumping in the pre-market, trying to break through to make some record highs. So how about we take a look at these charts, see if we can get some information about how we want to approach the market for today in the Friday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Well, good morning once again, everyone, and thank you all for being here. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a look at these charts. Um, what we can go look at here is we have um, upside trend that continues to hold. Diamonds or Dow continues to hold above its 50-day moving average. Although we had a little bit of a concerning pullback yesterday, a little pop and drop, we ran up into that price resistance and the bears ultimately ended up defending that level in the Dow. We still have not been able to break down below support. So inflation, who cares about inflation? What's the difference? Um, there seems to be no concern here when it comes to um, inflation and high prices of these stocks. We just continue to press and press and press to the upside. Now, one, th one of the things I want to caution everyone on is although we continue to, I want to stay with the upside trend. I want to remain bullish in the, in the charts. Just be careful not to become complacent thinking that the market will never come down. Because trust me, at some point in time, all of a sudden, all of these things will be a concern for the market and we will suddenly care. So make sure you're planning your trades carefully. Make sure you have exit points in all of those trades. What I mean is stick with the business of trading and don't just wildly throw money at the market. Let's take a look here. Um, so we have this, um, these patterns in here where we still have that little bit of concern. We have these lower highs, but we're not seeing any major concern here in the market. So I wanna stick with these trends. Keep in mind, we are still above our 50 day moving average here in the chart. Now I wanna to go to the uh, actual Dow chart and show the difference here. We ended up yesterday leaving behind kind of a concerning shooting star type pattern here um, on the Dow. That did not show up in the diamonds, but we I think we have to watch that closely for the possibility, even though we're popping up this morning, we could see more sellers come in pressing a little bit. What we don't wanna see is we don't wanna see a follow through. So. If we were to push on lower today, if we get another pop and drop, not, not saying that that's going to occur, but if we were to get another pop and drop and we were to actually break those support levels there, we could see sellers come in pretty quickly. Not suggesting that's going to happen, but um, we should be watchful of that possibility. Also on the other side, if those bulls are able to push on through, if we're able to shrug off everything there is in inflation and we can push on through, I would suggest that if we can break through up here, if we can pop this resistance right in here and close up there, I think we have a pretty good shot setting new records in the market. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now, SPY really struggled and struggled and struggled at the end of the day, but they ultimately held up here. We pushed through and we got that new record up here. So we held on just enough to hang on to it, but it certainly wasn't a confident, um, you know, breakthrough up here um, on that SPY. So watch that closely. And largely what happened here in the SPY is because about 40% of the SPY um, is, is, or 40% of the weight of the SPY is big tech. 
big tech is what really pushed it and managed to hold that. While the majority of stocks were not doing that, big tech continued to push higher. So this morning we're trying to push on through and extend that, um, that record here this morning. We continue to hold on to this trend. So I, everything here is bullish. We continue to just party, party, party. Um, uh, none of, nothing seems to matter. Um, debt doesn't matter. Um, trade numbers that are horrible doesn't matter. Um, extremely high P and E ratios doesn't matter. Um, and inflation no longer matters. So let's just watch this carefully because one day I think it will suddenly matter. Stay with the trend, but um, watch this market very closely because we could quickly shift if we happen to stumble. Good signs in here. Um, looks like we're going to set new record highs this morning. Let's see if um, that holds throughout the day. Um, we always, um, when we set new highs or, or pushing to record highs, we always risk that possibility of the the morning pop and then the pullback so um, just be prepared for that possibility then let's take a look at the cues now the qqq had a really good day yesterday pushing up strongly um and and this was mostly big tech big tech was really pushing the day and as you can see we broke through some price resistance right here um, in that chart. We're continuing this upside move and we're trying desperately to push this market out to new record highs. So watch for that potential. We could easily push on up here and break through making some new records. We could also run in, you know, smack our head into that and run in and to there and possibly fail. Keep in mind, we have this possibility of that head and shoulders type thing that could still occur here. But as we push up here, maybe it's just gonna be, you know, nothing that we care about. And we just push right on through to the upside. So watch that close. And then IWM, IWM definitely pulled back pretty hard yesterday. We, we um, continue to push up here, trying to break through that resistance high in the chart. We kind of smacked into it, pulled back but we didn't break this upside trend and we have plenty of price support in here to potentially hold um, that chart in place here so if we can follow through to the upside no harm no foul here just a little bit of a rest or a pullback in that chart let's take a look at the vix now the vix squeaked it out i mean squeaked it out notice we we have had some tails down here but we ended up making the lowest close that we have seen here in the VIX. We didn't really break down that support level confidently. Let's just draw a straight line across there. We didn't really break down um, that little support in a confident way, but we did squeak out a new low close here on the VIX. So we're not concerned. Um, the moral of sto that story is we have, we seem to have no concern whatsoever about inflation and, um, or any of these other things that um, are going on in the market. So keep a close eye on that. Um, you got to give this up to the bulls. If they can continue to push that lower, we're going to start drifting down into this area here. Um, so watch that closely. Now, one of the things you do have to become a little bit concerned about is that we might be coming becoming a little bit complacent in the market. So just stay on your toes and stay focused on the price action and um, just be prepared with a plan in case um, we do suddenly begin to care about some of these issues. Let's take a look at our T2122. Now our T2122 um, was in a pullback um, yesterday. We've been up here in this bearish reversal zone for a little while and we finally got a little bit of a selling coming into the market and it pulled it back. Now this morning we see futures trying to push up. The fact that we pulled back yesterday gives us that upside opportunity. So if we can find inspiration, we could push right on through and um, perk right back up here. So keep a close eye on that. There is upside opportunity in here. We also want to keep in mind that um, if those bears defend we could um, see a substantial pullback yet in the market so 
Um, T2122 doesn't give us a direction. It just tells us where we have opportunity, and we have opportunity both ways in that chart. Let's take a look at T2101. This is a, still a concern to me. Um, notice that T2101 continues to languish. We cannot seem to get um, market breadth to really pick up where we continue to struggle with momentum in this market. Now, I'm not sure what this means, but it does continue to raise a concern for me that although we're pressing and pressing and pressing and we see every morning institutions are pushing the futures higher, pushing the futures higher, trying to inspire buying, but we're just not seeing that follow through with actual buying uh, through the day. So Perhaps that changes here soon, but watch that closely. We continue in this downtrend on that market breadth. Um, kind of an interesting circumstance when we see the market just absolutely relentlessly trying to move up, but there's just no energy. Um, kind of an interesting circumstance. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar um, has very little on it today to worry about. We do have consumer sentiment number here this morning. I don't know that, you know, if CPI is not going to move the market, I kind of doubt uh, consumer sentiment is going to move the market. And we're looking at um, consensus su suggesting it come in around 84, which would be an improvement. So, hey, uh, we'll likely find a little bullish energy on that this morning. Baker Hughes, a rig count. Um, I don't know that anybody's going to care about that. And um, on the earnings calendar itself, we have an extremely light day. There's um, 14 companies that are listed on the calendar, but only two of those that um, are verified reports. So I, I think we're only going to get a couple reports today. Um, CMCM is one of those. Um, not exactly a particularly notable stock being down here at $2.77 and certainly not likely to be a market mover. And the other being NATH of the verified reports. Now this one of course has a lot more weight in the market and certainly could help to inspire a little bit. And looks like they've got a um, little bit of a push here this morning to the upside, so perhaps um, a strong earnings report this morning suggesting some upside. Now, I wouldn't want to chase that move, but any rest or pullback in here that holds that support would set up an opportunity. So not much going on on the, on the economic calendar or the earnings calendar today to provide inspiration. So it'll be up to the market to decide uh, what we're going to do. Now, keep in mind, guys, that I, I believe it's next week we, we head into an FOMC meeting. So is it possible that the market could just kind of uh, continue in this sideways pattern um, as we wait to see what the FOMC is going to do, and that certainly is possible. So just kind of keep that in the back of your mind as you plan your risk forward into next week. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a quick favor. If this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up it, so that you can be notified every time I post one of these videos. And if you feel like the video was worthy, and I want to say thank you to everyone who's doing this. Um, now you've been clicking those thumbs up buttons, you've been leaving those comments, that's helping the algorithm show these videos to more and more folks. Heck, we're about ready to make uh, 21,200. So um, uh, the channel continues to grow and I really want to say thank you to everyone who does take the time to do that. Also, please feel free to share these videos out on any of your social media platforms. Um, and thank you so much to all of you that um, have been supporting the channel with the Buy Me a Coffee. Um, link. Um, truly, truly appreciate it. A big shout out to you guys. Um, you're awesome. I, I truly appreciate it. <coughs> Excuse me. A little allergy going on here this morning. So um, how about we take a look at these stocks setting up and remember that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You must do your own due diligence on all of these charts and be um, 
uh, focused on your guidelines and your risk tolerance for the trade. Never ever blindly follow any uh, anyone else's trade ideas. Let's take a look at some of these stocks. And I placed an alert yesterday on NVIDIA. Take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA has been moving up in this nice strong trend. Moving up strongly, we know we have a, uh, a split on the way here. They're going to split this stock and lower the cost of it, um, hopefully getting a little bit more participation in it. But NVIDIA has got this nice little tight consolidation and notice that we sellers are not willing to push it down. So if we can find some inspiration here, buyers could certainly pick this up and perk that right on out. So watch that carefully. NVIDIA looking pretty good overall. I think you might want to take a look at um, Dick Sporting Goods, although we did get a little bit of selling in that yesterday. Notice that after that earnings report, we just can't really seem to sell off. Now we're, we're sliding out here closer and closer and closer to where that trend might engage. So let's keep an eye on that. If we can find some reason for bullish reasons for bullishness in here, we could easily see Dick Sporting Goods uh, push on through and continue that upside trend. It's not ready for prime time yet, not ready to speculate on it, but watch that closely. Pretty darn good looking chart. Take a look at Box. Box had a good day yesterday pushing up and notice that we've broken through this price resistance in the chart and we're just kind of camping out up here holding that area as support. Notice how this stock likes to move. We'll pop up and then we'll rest out here toward trend. I suspect <clears throat> this could still rest for a few more days out here in the trend. Watch that closely. There may be that next opportunity coming up in that chart very, very soon. Watch it close. Um, you might want to take a look at Fubo. Fubo has had some nice moves here. Um, notice we moved up strongly, popping through this resistance level, and now we're pulling back. And this is fairly common. I want to point this out um, to a lot of you. I see this pattern a lot where we have a trend, we'll push up early into that trend. We're away from the trend. We push up and then we end up pulling back and continuing on to test that trend. So if you want to avoid, if you want to avoid getting caught in these, we have to wait until we engage that trend and support levels. Seeing that pattern popping up more and more every day, watch that closely. We And I think it's just because of the energy of the market. Um, everyone, we see a bullish candle and everyone just wants to rush in and jump on it. And then we end up getting that selling or pulling back. But watch this right here. Fubo is setting up for a very nice opportunity if that can pop on through. Um, keep a close eye on that. Take a look at um, um, gold. Now gold is getting a little bit of a pullback this morning. We're seeing um, inflation. It's just remarkable to me. We have... Um, such a high reading of inflation and our bonds are sliding. No one seems to care. Um, it, it's an interesting circumstance to me. And in, in my entire trading career, I've never seen that. That That's not to say that it's not right. I just have never seen it. So we're getting this pullback, but as long as we continue to hold in the support area of um, the chart, keep keep an eye on that trend because we could certainly engage that trend here at any time and start back up in gold. So watch that closely. Um, um, take a look at um, NIO. Now NIO is another one of those patterns that I want to point out here in that we pop early, we pop way away from the trend. And then notice what happens. We pop and then we pull back and we may still rest or consolidate out here to this trend for that next opportunity to the upside. So keep an eye on that. NIO is looking pretty good. I think there's a good setup here in that chart coming together. I think it would be a good idea to keep an eye on oil stocks. Um, oil had a pretty good day yesterday, although we popped and pulled back. Pretty good day. And um, if inflation is hot, we're going to see commodities um, as a general rule are going to rise in prices. So keep an eye on stocks like AR, um, ExxonMobil. Now, 
please keep in mind my ExxonMobil is something that I own, so I have a bias here, but keep an eye on that. You could also look at you know, Halliburton. Halliburton could be setting up if it can hold on to this trend, the support area in here. So just keep an eye on that, those energy stocks holding up pretty well. You might also want to take a look at, uh, take a look at NKLA. NKLA is another one of those um, um, uh, EV manufacturing stocks out there that looking pretty darn good here. Now, keep in mind, here's that pattern again. We shoot up, we pull back, and we fire off an entry early, and then notice that we're just resting and pulling back now. So those who jumped early um, are having to either set through the pullback or get stopped out in the trade watch this as it moves out here toward trend for that next opportunity to get into a stock like nkla looking pretty good overall um take a look at coke now coke um is really looking pretty good here you notice that we broke through some resistance here to the upside um looking pretty good here and we pulled back pulled back tested this little trend in here and popped up yesterday. That possibility that we could continue to extend on up here in this chart. Keep an eye on Coca-Cola. Looking pretty good um, overall. Also, you might want to take a look at some of the beer, wine um, stocks. I've mentioned TAP several times and TAP just continues. Little tiny candles here, but just continues to chop its way higher, continuing to move on up. Keep a close eye on that. Now, one place you might want to ha start looking here, um, we saw Big Tech have some big moves yesterday. And Microsoft, uh, broke through some resistance. We we failed this support up here, broke down, and now we're up here trying to um, prove that we can push on through. So breaking through up here isn't necessarily the trade because we're a long ways away from a stop loss, but any rest or pullback that holds this level of support, maybe engages that trend right in there, could be a nice opportunity in that chart. Um, now, we're seeing some Google, Google is under pressure. Um, UK regulators are after them, but we're continuing to, to rally up. We've got US, the Democrats are coming forward with a wave of antitrust that they say could fundamentally change how business is done with the big techs. Um, we'll have to wait and see if that actually happens. But right now we're ignoring that. We're continuing to move up. Um, I don't think I'd want to chase Google here at all, but you might want to take a look at Apple. Apple has been struggling against a price resistance point. If, if that continues to rest across here, we want to watch for that opportunity that that could pop through. Notice a break of a downtrend here, that would create the first higher low in that chart and maybe start an upside trend. So keep an eye on some of those big techs. There may be some possibilities or some opportunities starting to set up there. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in trading. I want to wish you great results. And I also want to wish you an awesome, awesome weekend. Y'all take care. We'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. Have a great day, everyone.